rewind There's some things that I feel we should just leave on I wish I would've known you'd be a bridge of your burn Yeah, yeah, yeah Now please don't think this coincidental Cause I've been working my Just making these instrumentals People close to me hey, my friend and me What a reason I learned Say this is my story this is my dream Cause if you really vibe I with me Come and take this ride I with me This is my story This is my dream Cause if you really vibe I with me you Come and take this ride I with me Girl In 2013, I fell into a deep depression. It was, it was hard for me. Life got hard for me. I was 21 years old, really new to being on my own. Um, I was always used to somebody catering to me, rather it be my my mom or the military. I didn't necessarily have to think for myself. And in 2013, I had to start making tough decisions, and I made all the wrong ones, which caused me to lose so much. I, I, I lost it all. It was my house, my car, my girlfriend. I fell out with some of my friends, and times got rough for me, and so rough that, that I tried to tried to kill myself and on that day that I tried uh, to make that attempt I heard a knock at the door and uh, I went upstairs to see who it was and it was Matt um, and he had a bottle in his hand and smile on his face and he was ready to make some beats do some music and uh, I let him in and we went downstairs and we, we, we cranked out some tunes he he doesn't know um, that he saved my life that day and uh, two months later me and Matt got robbed and he was killed right in front of me. I had his blood stained on my hands for two weeks straight. Was, which caused me to fall even deeper into my depression. I don't know. Life has been hard for me. But I was only able to, to express myself and how I was felt at that moment of time through song. Um, I could never find the words to explain what was going on through my mind that day, that night. Um, so... I ended up moving to California to regather my thoughts and, and during my time out there I was able to sort of gain control over my depression because I was out of my element because they say you can't heal where you got sick so I had to leave. 
but with my art, like throughout this whole entire time, me going through this, I had nothing but music. And when I got back home from California, I moved in with my mom because I feel like I needed to come back and restart up one minute and down the next and down for when I was down I was down for so long that they, they they didn't know how to handle me and it got so bad to the point where me and my brother got into a physical altercation and, and my mom kicked me out of the house and um I'll never forget that night. It was, it was Super Bowl Sunday. But on that night, it was a snowstorm. I was walking down the rain, calling my friends, calling everybody trying to find someone to come pick me up. None of my friends would come. They all had cars, but none of them would come. I've done so much for them. I always gave, I was always a giver, and everybody just constantly took from me until I broke down. And then they called me and they shut me out. But on that night, he sent, God sent somebody to me, one of my closest friends now to this day, which is supposed to be my best friend's cousin. And I barely knew Jay. Jay barely knew me, but he came and got me, and Jay gave me a place to stay. Him and his mom, even though they were going through enough, they were going through so much as well. His mom just had a stroke the year before. Um, it was so he was taking care of her, she couldn't work, he was taking care of the house, and there was just so much going on. But they gave me a place to lay my head so. By me not being able to necessarily work or do anything in return, I did what I knew how to do best, and that was be artistic. So through art, I gave Jason, I tried to give Jason a, a an outlet as well. And me and Jason started a group called The Unforgiven, and we sang our hearts out by the blues, it's just in this blues. We just constantly, we became more creative and creative and creative and to the point where Jason started to help me learn how to sing and better my vocals and I taught him how to make, you know, do some tweaks to beats and stuff like that. It was just, we were feeding our energies, we were feeding off of one another and, and man, it, it, it made me be able to start to really get out of that, that slump that I was in because I was able to be creative once again. So I don't know where I would be right now. I'd probably be dead in the ditch somewhere if, if Jason never came that night. She can be 
sweeter, sweeter than you'll ever know. But a heart so cold would have been a story that you could have told. Another memory, another chapter close. Without art, I don't know where I'd be. It's got me to do so many obstacles. I didn't, I don't know what, what was going on through my mind, through half the things that I was going through. Now that I'm older, I see that through every obstacle that I had to face in life, I was always at a different stage of being creative. Um, from being homeless, sleeping on the streets in LA, I was being creative. There's beauty and simplicity. I was able to learn and become a little bit more humble about life. Because I lost myself when I joined the military. I thought I was trying to be somebody else or I was trying to be somebody else and, and it made me into something that I wasn't and, and I, I went insane and I changed and I didn't like it. And I ended up hospitalized for nine days. So, like I said, I lost myself and, and, and through my art, I was able to figure out who I was. I had to go back to listen to my old mixtape when I was 18 years old before the military to truly understand who I was. And without art, that art being there, that music being there, I wouldn't know who I was. I wouldn't be able to go back and draw from that. Some things don't last forever, and some things do. Art just happens to be one of them. And I know who I am. I know who you are. I'm blazing, going up in the station. Part of a master plan when young is one of the pages. Read from the same book, but live our life on different pages. So you can climb up a mountain, but even the earth changes. Trapped up in the rotation, the pull of the gravitation. We're trying to keep it the hundred, but people want it for This system will not contain me. No witness, my black magic. Why should I apologize when you created the savage?